G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Diaspora. Agent. Our fuel lines were damaged and artillium reserves are dangerously low. There is barely enough fuel to maintain combat operations and only enough for one or two short range jumps. It is only a matter of time before the Cylons find us and when they do, we won't be able to run. Sounds Recon like a Raptor story. flights have been launched to establish contact with fleet or civilian assets. As of this moment, we have been unable to establish contact with surviving fleet assets in orbit of Virgon. All orbital refineries have been destroyed. Our homeworlds are under attack. We have reports of nuclear detonations on PyCon, with casualties in the billions. Wireless traffic is flooded with distress signals. Although as far as we know, there are no organized evacuation efforts, a number of civilian ships fleeing Aralon are under Cylon attack. We've received a distress signal from the Indart, a short distance cargo transport, which is part of a convoy now escorted by a Bolotho class frigate, the Sebasius. I like the ship names. Red Squadron is to investigate and secure the area. You are to protect FTL-capable civilians and the Sebasius until they can jump to safety with the fleet at Virgon. You are to escort ships lacking jump drives to the Theseus. Once your wing returns, we will transport the civilians aboard the Theseus. At present, the Theseus does not have enough fuel to make the jump to Virgon. We will rendezvous with the fleet as soon as we have secured Atilium supply. That is all. Good hunting, pilots. All right. So, secure fuel, rescue civilians. Six hours of fuel left. And that looked like a small graphics bug then. I assume that was supposed to be a camera panning by the cockpit. Guns are linked. Missiles are set. The Cylons are breaking off and on an intercept course with us. Stop shooting me! If Star Wars Squadrons feels half as good as this, it's going to be a winner. Check your six, pilot. Check your six, pilot. Damn it, damn it, damn it. 
You're my wingman. Your job's to check my six. Actually, the rockets and the uh, the Raptor are more effective. Whew. Those clankers are history. I'm picking up multiple colonial transponders and a live wireless channel from the frigate. Oh, thank the lords for not the only survivors. This is the Bolitho class brigade, Sir Basis. You just saved our asses. The Cylons jumped in to investigate the Indar's distress signal. We powered down to play dead. It's a good thing you were out. With those raiders, we wouldn't have been able to stay hidden much longer. What's your situation, Spazius? We were separated from our group bound for Burgon. We try looking around for survivors at the orbital transfer points. We found these civilians doing Whoa, the same thing. The problem shit. is that most of these ships don't have fuel for the FTL drives. The Indar said she was a short haul to the tanker. Personal we space. Jesus. We received the Indar's distress signal. Our ship, the Battlestar Theseus, is in critical need of Tilium. Battlestar? The Indar doesn't have an FTL drive, so you'll need to bring your ship here. But basically, if jumping is over, you'll be taking one hell of a risk. You're bringing your systems back online now. Spazius, we are out of options. We lost most of our fuel reserves during a Cylon attack, and we cannot make the rendezvous at Vergon without additional fuel. If this doesn't work, it's going to be a one-way trip for us. I don't think we have much of a choice. This is Red 2 to Theseus. We have established contact really cool. with the Indart, and she has Tilium. We have neutralized the Cylon recon wing, but more might appear at any moment. Affirmative, Red 2. Recalling our captain, beginning jump prep. Civilians are starting to bring their systems online again. Some of them don't like the idea of leaving their ships. They want to be refueled first. If the Cylons are on their way, there won't be enough time to refuel more than one ship. We're preparing shuttles for evacuation right now. We'll pass that along, PCs. Traders contact multiple ships. They're too large to be raiders, but too small to be base ships. <laughs> We're picking up colonial transponders. Hello. Can you hear us? This is the lineup, Golden Eagle. Is anyone there? Golden Eagle, this is the Sebasius. It's good to see more survivors. Please approach and enter escort formation. The Cylons were here not too long ago. We don't know when they plan on coming back. We... we found someone. We've been jumping all over the system, looking for anyone else still alive. You'll be safe and out here. The battle star is on our way as we speak. Red Wing, would you mind escorting them to us? Already on it. Hello? I'm reading hostiles in range. Reading new contacts. Six Cylon Raiders. They're splitting into two groups of three. They're engaging some toasties. Red Wing, go to neutral to neutral to neutral silence before we jump into the area. Otherwise, we risk placing the civilians in greater danger if they report on arrival. We'll go Theseus. We'll take these toasters back to their scrapyard. All ships. Oh, missiles miss again. Jumping away from the place where you have fighters and an incoming battle star. Not the smartest cookie. Shit, that is a heavy. That's actually a really nicely detailed heavy too.
Yeah, I know, I know I've said it previously, but the flying in this All just feels down. so nice. Is Although it would be nice if it had um, dual controller support. You can't do HOTAS unless the HOTAS are linked together directly rather than two controllers into a computer. It doesn't seem to support dual controllers at all. So I'm doing all this through one stick and keyboard. It would be nice to be able to use the throttle as well. Actually, being space combat, it would be really nice if you could twin stick this. That's the uh, honestly the best way to fly space sims, especially if you have direct bus thruster control. Tanker in dirt. We are ready to receive you. Proceed to our eventual refueling port. Before we begin refueling, I want my crew to be the first evacuated. When the Cylons come back, this tanker won't be able to take much damage before it blows us all to hell. In dirt. We are launching evac shuttle soon. Your ship will be the first one evacuated. We should be able to take it from here, pilots. Good work. Good. We'll keep a skeleton crew on board until refueling is done. Initiating docking procedure. Red Wing, get yourself back to the bar to restock. There's no telling how soon the silence are going to be back. And home we go. See if I can not tank this landing. I can't believe it. Flesh and blood toasters. Nice. Skids down. Bad rock secure. I don't think the home. Cylons really look like us. Well, you'd be wrong about that, love. The Theseus is commencing fueling operations. It will be a few hours before we are at full capacity, but we will have enough supplies to reach Virgon and maintain combat operations within 30 minutes. We are recalling all recon wings to the Theseus. Cylon forces have not yet detected us through the debris field, but base ships are massing in low Aralon orbit. Based on reports from Pycon and Caprica, it appears that they are preparing to bombard the planet from orbit. One of our Raptor flights has established contact with the fleet at Virgon. Over 90% of the fleet was annihilated in the initial attacks, but there is hope of mounting a counterattack from Virgon. While we might be watching Aralon burn as we refuel, never forget that we still have a chance to protect some of our homes. Excellent work protecting the civilians. But don't let your guard down. Remember that more Cylons will come once they realize our location. We need you back out there, pilot. Report to the briefing room in five minutes. Well, we're not quite done here yet, but we are done for this video, I think. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what were your favorite space games from the past, because I've been really enjoying this, and I'm thinking about bringing a hell of a lot more of this to the channel, because... Well, this is just fantastic fun. Anyways, guys, until next time, take care.